Hey guys, welcome back to Avorian, the spaceship building, galaxy exploring, resource trading, gun gun pew pewing game of excitement and wonder. My name is Twitchy and last time we built this rather impressive mid-game uh, carrier capital ship fleet head thing. <laughs> my flagship, my flagship, that's what I was reaching for. Uh, but I think I think well, most of you were expecting me to do something different last time. We had recently fought the scientist, as you can see up in the top right of my screen here. Uh, but we had a little bit of a of a situation where where he just completely wiped out the entire fleet. In well, it wasn't one shot, but it was one shot each vessel. So I think today is today to build the replacement for the grandest entrance. At the same time, addressing that issue, we will build a stone covered ship. But first, before we do that me and the diplomat have been out exploring along the uh, great barrier here uh, and we found somewhere that turns up north now looking at this uh, line of the circle here i'm expecting this gate just to go up into a new sector over here that kind of functions much like this one but i found a wormhole that appears to go somewhere up there i'm not sure entirely where and i think we can go explore that first i want to send the diplomat thuswards and then i'm going to go through here and let's go see what wonders await well i think this is the line of the circle coming up and around this way so i've not managed to make it onto the other side i'm just going to jump up this way do i don't know four or five jumps around just to see what is available and when that fails because i think it will we will get on with making the grandest entrance mark mark four i think he's mark four now also another wormhole coming down this way but that's totally the opposite way from where i want to go i'm a little surprised at just how empty it is up this way I mean, is desolate a word we can use here? Not even hidden mass signatures. In the middle of nowhere, I found four pirate ships. Do you reckon I can face them down on my own? Let's see what we've got here. We've got a disruptor. I might have to take the disruptor out first just in case I need to get away. Yeah, okay, let's let's go try that. Of course, they are going to try and bring in some reinforcements. Uh, I, I think I can live with it. I can think I can live with it. There's also a valuable object somewhere in this sector. I suppose we could deal uh, with finding that as well. Let's just open fire here and see what happens. Yeah, look at that. Nice and quick. The the problem that I have quite often, as is being quite nicely demonstrated here, is I tend to get too close and then all, not all my guns can fire, though this nice little like broadside that we've got going on here is a winner for me. Okay, that's one down, let's keep moving. Being in the asteroids uh, like we are is not really the best for me, also trying to orientate like that is probably not the winner either. I'm just going to try and like slide my way out of here, hopefully using a little bit of strafe action to keep the... Uh, keep the, the guy there in my sights. Seems like it's going to be a relatively easy fight. That's uh, in before they warp in a whole another fleet to come and get me. Uh, all right, this guy, what are you? You're just a marauder. You should be fine. There's, there is a guy around with some big guns, some slow firing big bursters. Uh, I, I don't think they're going to be yeah, those ones. Do you see them come ripping past? I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue because I I tried using those on this cl uh, this ship last time uh, and trying to actually aim was uh, not not the easiest because of the distance involved and the time lag. I I think we both need to get away from these if we're going to have any hope of having a fight. Bounce, bounce. No, no bounce this time. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. All right, let's uh, pop out over this way and then turn around. Hopefully they'll follow me. Is it just him? There's him as well. Let's uh, let's take a moment. And, oh, you know what? I could have totally had my fighters out during all this. Okay, here we go. Round two. This shouldn't take too long now, especially with the fighters. They are quite a quite a marauding little pack of wonders there. <laughs> the other guy trying to save his friend. There we go. Fighters did the majority of the work there. Uh, now, I think mostly I just need to help take the shields down. I don't think we've got any fighters with uh, just shield capabilities. We do have two fleets on the go, two squadrons on the go. I will uh, take a look at them shortly. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's someone else launching torpedoes out. Oh, look at them all. Look at them all. There's a whole bunch around the outside of my screen. I didn't see them turn up, but this shouldn't be shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. No, the uh, the missile might very well be. Oh, what 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 was that? How, how did it get taken out? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this guy travels a little bit faster than I normally do, but not quite as fast as my boost. So it's been a bit awkward to keep up with him. I was kind of hoping that that pass would have been enough to kill him there. 
Um, that, that's a missile. I don't want that, but thanks. Oh, he's so nearly dead. He is so nearly dead. Now, do you think the other guys are in any way uh, a threat? I mean, they're a, they can be if they all group up at once. This is terrible aiming. Oh, look, look at what I've got going on here. I'm not sure I like it. Small group of alien ships have also appeared. That's that's fun. <laughs> yeah, let's get some distance so we can uh, bring my guns back to bear. I have no idea. Let's have a look. There, there's my fighters there and my fighters there. We should probably go and back them up, right? Let's let's try and do that. Yeah, this guy's just labelled as Marauder. Ah, the pirates are taking on the uh, the Zotan. That'll be hilarious. Okay, let's let's get in there. I'm not sure what my my furthest range weapons are. Uh, I do know that they're, they're somewhere between ten and five definitely came in somewhere about seven i think there okay let's see if we can't keep this going if i press control i might be able to get the uh the whole effect like this going on that's nice i'm not that bothered about one or two missiles i, I very rarely thought that missiles have made or break made or broken a situation uh, i'm trying desperately not to shoot my own fighters i don't know whether that's a thing you know can you can you even uh, I would really like it if you couldn't, but I could also see how that would be like a little bit game breaking or whatever. Like if I, if, if my little fighter squadron flew through my my big old blasty laser beam, I, I would expect them to take a little bit of damage, you know, just a little bit. So the disruptor class is here seem to be a little bit more. Oh no, he's not a disruptor. He, he's got a shield anyway. Uh, seemed just a little bit more grindy than troublesome, you know. I'm just I'm just sat here wearing him down, hoping that my my weapons can actually hit him. Uh, the missiles very rarely can even strike me. They just kind of like move around me and do little figures of eights. But uh, sometimes they they clip the back of me. Isn't it wonderful just to sit back and watch two enemy factions rip each other apart? Oh, it's, it's amazing, actually, if you ask me. Oh, there goes a missile. Is it going to hit anyone? It did. All right, cool. They're not very good at dodging missiles, I've noticed. This definitely seems to be a player skill rather than an AI skill. Oh, this guy's starting to get close. I mean, we could probably ignore him still, right? They're, they're, they're very, very much locked in combat. Ah, let's 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 help this along. I like. Do you reckon the the Zotan will just ignore me afterwards, or is this going to be a showdown to remember? So he seems almost defenseless against me. Uh, he he's focused on someone else, and I've just kind of come along and been like, "Hey, how you doing?" He's like, "I, I don't care. I'm locked in battle elsewhere." Oh, 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 that one's coming for me. I don't think it really matters, though. To be honest, I don't think it really matters. About two kilometers appears to be the sweet spot. Oh, someone's already given this guy a kick in. Let's just uh, finish him off whilst we can. Well, this guy's got some lasers too. Oh, hi. Okay, well, here we go. The clash of the Teslas. Who's going to win in this combat? Uh, it, it could be either of us. No, no, it's almost definitely going to be me at this point. So uh, just about keeping my, my guns on him, would you believe? I really should go and find my fighters, though. Oh, great. Pirates are attacking the sector. Well, at least my fighters have caught up with me now. <laughs> Should make it a little easier. I mean, like, look at them go. Look at them go. Oh, Sai's got some big hits on me. Or at least they're making big noises. I don't know whether that means big damage. Looking at my bars, it all looks fine. So I'm just going to sit here and soak what I can. At least until we take this guy out. Yeah, I'm losing a blue bar every sort of... I don't know, I'm going to say 20 seconds. Is that acceptable? It kind of feels acceptable. All right, let's go over after this guy. Savage Bandit. Oh, it's a lightning storm! A lightning storm! Hey, he's running away. He's running. Come back here. The ship's not got the best viewing angles sometimes, it has to be said. Oh no, a fight has been destroyed. First one of the combat, though. Okay, our final opponent, a savage pirate. I think I might need some hole busters. This guy seems quite resilient, and none of my weapons really seem to be doing that much damage to him. Ooh, well, that was more of a grind than a challenge, but I suppose that's good, really, if you think about it. Get my fighters back. Let's sit around and wait for that to happen before I just go cruising off. Gives me a chance to look for wherever the valuable object is. I've got a feeling, look, is that it right there? It, it looks like that. That might be it right there. Oh, it's just like a little a bunch of little duckies trying to, like, get into the pond. Pond that moves, right? 
<laughs> Pirates are attacked. No, go away. <laughs> go away. Okay, out, out the fighters go. Let's just see see what happens. I need I need to go and get this. I need to claim this asteroid. I think we'll be okay. I th I think I, I see nothing wrong with this. This is this is fine. This is fine. Claim it, okay? And then we're gonna sell the asteroid to these guys. Thank you very much. That's uh, all I really wanted to do. Let's try, let's try and get our way out of this asteroid field now. Probably not the best place to. Uh defend thyself how did my relations worsen with them like instantly what's what's going on here no 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 return return my my fighters are trying to fight the asteroid for some reason i i have no idea why that did a lot of damage to my reputation wow Right, that, that's it, that's it, I'm out of here, I'm out of- Oh, we're in the middle of nowhere, but I'm still out of here. Oh, oh, I've I've left my fires, but I can't- I can't leave my fires behind. I, I, I totally forgot to call them back in. Ah, shift one, return, shift two, return. Come, 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 I, come over here, look, look at them, they're all over there, let's, let's get a little closer. Oh, look, oh, they've colonized the asteroid we were on already. Okay, cool, cool. There's another one. Seems suspiciously close. Well, I guess we're gonna claim this one as well. Maybe if we can, sell it to a rival faction and then we'll have like a thriving economic uh, competition going on here. That, that, that'd be great, right? Claim and then sell. Ah, it's the same people. Okay, well, I suppose we'll get back the rep that we lost when my fighters decided that they wanted to um, beat up a rock. Wait, there's another one. Something. Uh, look, we still we still got valuable objects. No guarantee that it is another asteroid. It could be a, a, a secret stash, a traveler's case, something like that. What are you? How, how big are you in the the scheme of asteroids? Don't want to select it. No, you're just a normal one. This one. What's, what, what's, what's, what's this one? This looks good. A third asteroid. Wow. All right, we're going to sell that to these guys as well. Nice, nice, nice. Making monies. Beautiful. And that's all of them. No, no symbol at the top anymore. Also, incidentally, no more mass signatures either. It really is just totally empty out here. But we're, we're going to go... Uh, do that thing that I said we're gonna do. For those of you that don't know, um, first, you should know. If you don't know, up in the top right, I've got a card in there. It's a playlist. It shows at the beginning of all my episodes, but it's also kept up there during the rest of the episode. But for those of you that don't know, the grandest entrance was the ship that I first built when we first came into this area. Why was that such a horrific noise? Uh, not all the turrets could be used because they're not all in your inventory. Oh, that's a, that's a little bit of a shame. So the grandest entrance, small package big entrance it really did me well for the longest of times but recently just recently it's been getting a little bit too hairy for such a tiny craft and we've uh, made most of our fighters out of its shape and i think it's time that we gave it one last transformation so we can use it against the scientist and then i think we're gonna have to retire it so the first thing we need to do of course is to rip all the turrets off because we have got two options for getting stone onto this thing we can either put an extra layer of stone on as I'm doing over here or as we can do in a little bit we can take away some of the edge armor and replace that with stone edge armor it's a fairly simple process mostly it's just about extending edging to go ahead and cover any bits that didn't have any armor covering them and as I say replacing the triangles the most difficult bit came when I was trying to get uh, a triangle to lay into the shape of an odd shaped triangle gap this triangle here is not one that the game really likes to support because it's halfway up a slope that's at a weird angle and going funny it, it was fine i managed to sort it out but uh if, if anywhere is going to let me down it's going to be at that spot right there now as i said there were two options to, uh, for being able to put the stone in place i could either replace stuff or i could skin it and skin it quite often was the more awkward task most of the time i could just press the shift button and that would like give me a, a nice slab to put down over the top but the majority of my time was coming from when i had put down an object in the middle of a big flat open area to kind of break up the interest right uh, and of course this meant that i had to try and build a surrounding piece of frame to go around that in stone so that it can uh, be just fully covered i'm really worried that there's going to be some sort of gap in any of my joinery here it really does need to be perfect 
Tech House the, uh, the lightning of the new and awesome weaponry that the mad scientists have been creating will just rip me apart. Now, obviously, as I was saying, the hardest part would be to uh, try and get down and into these little crevices. And all of this could have been sold if I just built a brick. But I've got to say, I have been, for the longest time since I started playing this game, fighting the urge to build a brick. It obviously would be the most efficient way, but I, oh, it would be it would be horrible. It would be horrible. Uh, once I found out, once I'd remembered, rather, that you could replace uh, parts with stone directly, doing these little side spikes here became an absolute pleasure. Talking of pleasure, shall we go find this scientist? I mean, he is all the way, like, back here somewhere. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. One, two, three jumps, and then there's this wormhole that opens up here. Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks. It's almost like they knew I was coming. Ran into a small bit of bother on the way. Thankfully, the boys were here to back me up. We've got one more jump to make down there, but I just... I want my shields to regen, so I'm just going to have to hold on for a second. Okay, second wasted. Let's go! I'm not sure whether the scientist is still going to be there, whether we've got to take out that mobile um, satellite still again. Okay, so we've got a satellite. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. These guys, uh, I, I'm really not expecting them to make it, to be honest. I, if I'm going to level with you guys here, I'm not expecting the grandest entrance to make it through this fight either. I'm expecting me to be super underpowered and then taken out by some conventional weaponry. Uh, that That's kind of what I'm expecting. All right, let's, uh, let's take this out. Um, it, it, can I shoot from this distance? I don't know. I don't know. Already it's taking... Uh, I should wait the 15 seconds, right? We should we should wait for the hyperdrive uh, recharge to stop taking all my power. Okay, stuff be charging. There's just a bunch of logs in there that we have read before. I guess we're just going to get up nice and close and waste this guy. All right, we have worsened our relations. Where is the guy we're expecting to turn up? Where are you? Where are you? Find and destroy more research. Ah, really? Okay, I'm sending individual ships out and then jumping in with my drone to see if there's any non, non-military non crew here. We, we need someone who's not from the military because they're the guys who can tell us stuff. The uh, the guys from the military won't even talk. Look, if we, if we select him here and go, hey, F, no. Okay, let's try something different. There's, ooh, 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 too far. There's always stuff going on back here, right? Let's go to our wheat farm and see... See if we can talk to someone around here. Merchant. Mer the hello. Also, looks like we'd need some gunners here, but hello, how you doing? Do you know the location of a research satellite? 43199999999. Okay. Alright, that's right near my guys. That's beautiful. Oh, look, this entire station's only about the size of the grandest entrance. I feel bad doing this. Is this going to be the one, though? Is this the one that makes him turn up? That would be cool if it was. But just the fact that I'm still sat here destroying it makes me feel like no. Can we do the same trick? Back to the station? Lifter, excuse me, good sir. Why'd you care? Yeah, I want to destroy them. Uh, saw one in 39208. Thank you for your help. How about this one then? Oh, oh, there he was. There he was. I saw him. Ha, this time I caught you red-handed. You're the one who's been destroying and stealing our equipment. Uh, who are you? We're members of the Mad Science Association. Our latest research to the Zotan energy systems has been groundbreaking. Well, I mean, not because the stone is ground and you can't break the stone. Aha! You're clearly not capable of any true scientific enlightenment. Uh, we don't need scavenger scum like you around here. In fact, we're pretty sure the galaxy will be better off without you. Are you looking for the true power of pure energy? We're going to show you what the potential of true energy is like. Be ready to be melted. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, be ready to be melted. I mean, like, I feel like I'm still taking a lot of damage here, but I kind of did okay. We kind of did okay. Are my other ships even close? That That's a, a, a question that would be very, very interested to know. Okay, so there are things going on around me. I'm surprised I'm not dead. I'm really surprised I'm not dead. Look look at how much power I do not have. Okay, let's, let's try and move around and uh, away. Maybe get behind this rock that might help just a little bit. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'm hoping that maybe I can draw its f uh, fire for just long enough for the rest of my fleet to move on in there and get it. And it looks like that's probably what's going to be happening here. I'm liking I'm liking the way this has gone down. I'm really liking the way this has gone down. Very quickly turned the tides of this. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so now we're in trouble. Hopefully now the others have got enough power to, to, to be going for it. No, ah. Oh. 
Oh, this is it. There's a one by one blown up. Blown up. So close. Oh, it was so close. We nearly had it. We nearly, nearly had it. Okay, we're going to try this again, but this time twice as stupid because I brought the lady along with me. There's two things that I'm hoping will work in my favor here. One of them is that I have loaded the lady up with the fighters. That That's pretty good. Uh, the other one is that I've not just come in again with the same craft. I have gone over this one and made sure that there are no gaps. Uh, you know, I was saying how the, there was a little bit down the side that might, would give us problems. Okay, so we filled that in. Uh, I have also given uh, the craft here another another squadron of fighters so hopefully as long as all goes well and I can keep the scientists fire on me we should be able to wipe them out quicker than last time that's that's the hope anyway and if not we're just gonna have to get rid of the grandest entrance entirely do the same treatment with the diplomat that we did here like look, look at this beautiful yes uh, and then make another carrier something like that maybe in case the whole fleet is Anyway, uh, I've got this little notification up here. They're like, hey, male, declaration of war. This declaration of war. We are now officially at war. The Mad Scientist Association. Okay, cool. That sounds great. Did he, ar did he uh, arrive just from the one? Okay, we did the same trick of coming back to the wheat farm to be able to find out where we need to go. And indeed, we, oh, as soon as I find us, we need to go just a little bit down. How about this one? Nope. How about a long range takedown? Let's see how this does. A few of them fired there, so we'll see if it actually even connects. I mean, everyone's stationary here, and there is a green dot down the end, but did anything even touch? Does, doesn't look like it. Maybe I fired a little too wide. Let's just keep going until, there we go, until one of them hits, and uh, then just keep firing. Okay, there we go. Uh, message broadcast, some sort of emergency signal. Still, still not. Somewhere around seven kilometers seems to be my limit anyway. Right, I think this one might be it. So I've pre-released the cloud of fighters out of those two back there, the craft and the lady. Let's try and get look. One of them are even saying I've got distance from this far. I, I just don't. I don't feel like it's going to actually do the damage, though. You know, I just don't. I don't feel like it's going in the right direction. And picking up a short burst of subspace uh, frequencies. Thankfully, thankfully, that's a little way off. Okay, that should that should be damage. Okay, here he is. Where is he? Ha ha ha! This time I caught you. Uh, oops. We don't need scavengers to come like you around here. Uh, looking for the true power? Okay, true power. Low, 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 low. Why are you going after my not me? Like, what? what's up with that? Okay, so I think someone immediately took far too much of a beating there. But hopefully we did okay. I'm trying to move myself. I feel like I'm not having a great time with that. Let's just try and let my energy re uh, relight. It, it seems to be taking a while. Uh, the diplomat is down already. The diplomat is down already. That is not as good as I was hoping for, though the cloud of fighters is doing particularly well. Uh, I seem to be having less uh, luck with my energy than I was having previously, but hopefully the lady coming in like this will be uh, really, really helpful here. But so far, he's not unleashed another powerful attack at me. I am waiting for it, though. I am waiting for it, and that one will probably be the one that wipes me out. We're about halfway through the power right now. Uh, the, the health, sorry, right now. I'm doing okay just kind of sitting here. I'm wondering if there's a better place for me to be. I sure do hope so, because this feels a little bit sitting ducky. Let's try and get a little bit closer. Uh, one thing that I have noticed is being close to shore does help. And there we go, taking him out. Woo-wee! Uh, did I get the artifact? I did indeed get the artifact up here on the on the right. We got the uh, XSTNK7. Oh, looks like it. Beautiful. And a whole bunch of other, including a searching PDC. Beautiful. We got ourselves a new mission, but with that, I am going to say... Uh, quick, interrupt the outro. What, what does this uh, this upgrade give us? Uh, generated energy up 200%, but the recharge rate also takes forever. Thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. Well, we're going to find another boss to try and beat through brute force. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.